I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And today we're going to introduce you to a new line. Yes, East which Coast. Is East Coast. East Coast. And uh, this is going to be our sort of, um, I guess, introductory level base. It is indeed. Is that correct? Am I correct in that assumption? Absolutely, man. Yep. Um, we, you'll see um, a few, this brand popping up now in our stores um, across the guitar lines as well. So uh, electric guitars and basses, where the team here have um, we, we've all had an input and just basically trying to put something together that's going to be really, really affordable and what we think is the best value for money for, okay. at, at this sort of level. So your first pack. Um, and yeah, they just turned up and um, just in time of Christmas, actually, this this year, 2018. But this is just to give you an idea of um, what you can get at this money. So um, it's a this is based on a PJ base. Obviously, quite a traditional shape that yeah, everybody absolutely. will recognise. Yeah, that traditional P-base shape, but you've got that extra jazz pickup in the in the bridge. To give you some tonal variations, Too right. which is what you need. Yeah, absolutely. Um, quite a handsome red, actually. I like this red colour. That's quite nice. It's it? nice. Yeah, we've got the Sunburst one here. That's a, um, that's a nice Sunburst too. And it does come in a, a lovely, lovely black as well. OK. You know. All right. Well, I think we can imagine what that looks like. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Um, but really, really decent bass. So this is um, Ash Body they use on, on these. Yeah. Um, we've got Purple Heart Wood. Which you may have seen in uh, Ibanez use a lot of purple heartwood for, um, for uh, along with loads of other exotic uh, wengi and bibinga and all those don't sort of things. Don't get me started. So we getting started. Yeah. Um, but purple heart, really, really good alternative to rosewood. And uh, just to see what's going on at the moment with uh, sighted regulations. Rosewood's a little bit out of the question. Right. But provides the same um, the same function. And you've got maple neck, um, four bolt maple neck. Slightly lighter weight tuners. The hardware here is decent. Um, we've um, again, we've tried to uh, pick some nice parts as well. Pickups here again. We try to listen to a few to get the best, best of what we can, what we can get shipped over. Um, and yeah, so looking at one four nine for okay. a base like this, one hundred and forty nine pounds. That seems very reasonable. Right. Okay. That's it. You know, and say so for what you've, what you get. Say as you said, with the more the jazz setup, you've got two pickups there. Tones, you've got volume for each here, yep. volume for neck, volume for bridge, overall tone. Um, it's a really good thing to start with. I think having a bit more variance, especially having that jazz pick up in the back. Sure. Get more of a punchy sort of sound. Otherwise, you've got that nice throaty P bass sound in the in the neck as well. Yeah, no, that, um, that, that's good. And also, they're, they're really quite playable, I think. Really nice satin neck. Yeah, absolutely. And this is pretty much straight out of the box. We've got these just, just turned up and um, really nice and, and easy to, to, you know, just settle down with Yeah. Um, and start to play. So, obviously, this is for anyone that's um, sort of starting off so anyone that's um, that's normally joined us, um, you probably turned off by now. <laughs> so you've already done all this bit already. But this is for you guys that are just starting on your journey um, into the bass world. Or maybe you're a guitar player who fancies getting a bass. You want to th you, you, uh, right. have a little dabble into that. You know, a lot of a lot of guys do. I read that on the comments a lot. 
a, lot, a lot of guys say, I'm, I'm not a bass player, but I like watching this channel. I know. And I would like to get a bass. So, you know, it's something for those guys to think about. Yeah, it's nice as well, isn't it? 149, yeah. 149, 149 quid. quids. It's, you know, that's about, that's two lattes at Starbucks, I think, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> not far off. Um, <laughs> equivalent price. <laughs> yeah. Last time but, I went in. Yeah, that's it. Um, but equally, say, so when you're starting at this sort of level as well, sometimes if you've got nothing at all, like, you know, you're going to need all your accessories as, as well. So um, we are showing, sort of including some um, sort of package deals with these as well as they're um, fresh into us. Okay. Um, we should actually mention as well, just before we go on to those accessories, um, as part of the price, we are offering, we, we've set up every instrument, every East Coast instrument that's coming in, into our warehouse. I'm right. So normally, at this sort of level, especially with um, entry stuff, you, you've known as well, I'm working in shops as well, mm. man, it's normally, you know, um, they'll get checked at the factory, but once they've gone through and, you know, flown or, or uh, sailed <laughs> to, yeah. where, to where yeah. they come in, um, they can uh, fall out of the setup a little bit and maybe need a bit of tweaking. And also, if you were to purchase one from a sort of high street, uh, retail, for instance, yes, mentioning no names. No. Obviously, that's not going to be looked at at all, is it? That's just going to literally give you get a box. The box off the container, Thank shove you. it out. Yeah. So, well, that's 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 really worth uh, worth knowing. Yeah. Well, we're to, to get it to get them all checked. Exactly. Like because everything. the last thing you want, especially if you're starting out, is you suddenly get an instrument. You know, you get it out and it's unplayable because it, it happens a lot. You know, because the necks, because they're wood. Uh, it, it, it's all very sort of temperature dependent, you know. Mm. So they've been stored somewhere in a container, for instance, that's the, been sub zero temperatures. Yeah, so you it. get the neck out and it's all like this, and the action's up here, and you're not going to want to play it. Exactly, and it puts a lot of people off, I think, doesn't it? Like, you know, well, of course I, I, it does. I, you know, so many people must have got it given up over the years for just having a. Yes, because they don't realise that the instrument's not playing right, they just think they can't play it, and they go, yeah. oh, forget it, and stick it in the. Uh, yeah, in the it must be, must be something I'm doing, but say it's, it's a lot is down to making sure that there's a nice setup and. and uh, and it's yeah, it's going to be as easy as possible to, okay. for you to start learning. So if you buy one from Andersons, you know it's going to be uh, good to go. Too right. Yep, it goes through all, all our techs, our, our great tech conditions down the down the warehouse. Um, literally putting a thirty quid setup into every, every base that comes through, and the for guitars for free. For free. Ta -da. There we go. Cool. So um, on that note, so if you are starting off as well, and you may need um, some other bits to go with it, so. Um, we are offering... Oh, I'll be your glamorous you. assistant. <gasps> thank you, man. A, a clip-on tuner. I would put this in a stand, but somebody keeps taking... Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Here it goes. Right. I've so, got one. Hey! hey. Good boy. Hercules. Hey. I was looking at... Right, good. <laughs> Mentioning no names. You. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one electronic tuner. Oh, and now this, is this off the clip-on type? It is the clip-on type, okay. yes. So um, for those of you who don't know, you can literally put a little watch battery in these, which is included, Right. onto the top of the guitar, Yeah. plug your note, and it will tell you through the, pick up the vibrations of that, that note through the, the, the bass, um, and it will tell you how, how far in or out of tune you are for that string. Okay. Um, very simple to use when you get into it. Um, All but, automatic, right? You don't have to select anything. It'll just tell you what note you're playing and yep. and how ready to go. You, you can are. select a bass setting on that. I think so. You you only pick up the bass notes E A D G. <laughs> right, and uh, here, what's this? Next, we have a lead, guitar lead. Very very important, especially if you're a bass player. If you want to be heard, or a guitarist. Well, you're not going to be, be heard without a lead, are you? Without a lead. You're quite quiet. Look. Quite quiet. That's not going to get See, above the drums. Not going to get you very far. Premium grade. Premium grade, and actually, yeah, this is um, slightly better than your, your, your basic basic lead, so we'll put that in as well. Very nice, very um, nice. You get a little pack of picks. Oh! Oh, yeah! A yeah. oh. little pack of picks, pick a pick pack. Plectrum, <laughs> plectra. Alliteration. Plectry. Pack, pick, pack. All right, picks, <laughs> that's good. Picks, and a gig bag. So, nice, nicely padded gig bag. These things, oh, yeah. Come on, come on. There's no good in there, is it? Straight true. Again. Look at that. Tour tech. Ooh, so, bit of padding. Keep it safe. These things are normally 25 Keep, quid. Right. 25, you know, so yeah, nice bit of padding Pads on the back. in the front, stick your uh, pack lunch in there. Paraphernalia. Ta -da. One so, bag. That's and, a, yes, that's got not the all. One amplifier. Yeah! <gasps> so we include the Laney LX10B amp, which you'll hear in the yeah, that's through. So that's what you're playing through, right? Yeah. I mean, so we're not DI'ing the bass. You're actually, you're hearing this amplifier mic'd up. Mic'd up. So this is the real deal. No, it sounds no really trickery. De decent. No, absolutely. Um, and all of that with one of these and one of these amps is 199. So yeah. for, 
for only another 50 quid. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Which is really just the price of that, normally yeah. on its own. Um, so 199 or we're also offering, um, if you want a slightly upgraded amp, if you, if you fancy that, a little bit more power with the Rumble 15. And this is what I was playing through. You were playing that one, yeah. Uh, yes. Um, and that was 239. OK. So another 40 quid because of the, the amplifier difference. So and you get all those bits all and of that, this amp. One of that and one of that. 249, OK. Yeah, 239. 239. Yeah. There you go. So, just a couple of options there. So, but, I mean, we've been really impressed with this, actually. Just it's, when it's, it comes with nice. it, the size uh, of it. And and obviously, it's not particularly loud. You're not going to be doing any gigs or rehearsals with it, but, you know. Both of these, yeah. It's just for, all... for, for in your uh, in your bedroom, it's going to be fine. Plus, it's got a headphone out on it, so you don't annoy whoever. Yeah. And it's got an aux in on it, so you can plug in your, uh, your, yeah. uh, your phone or MP3 player, whatever. Play along with your favourite band. Exactly. Whoever that may be. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, and uh, and then, then you set, you know, we'll see, um, it's, um, it's something to look at. There's always a, um, there's a lot of options of these around. As you're saying, there's some high street brands and, and you know, local sort of department stores and things that might do their own, mm. own ones. And you'll find a lot around this sort of, um, this sort of price point. But we've always either sort of steer cleared, cleared of them or just gone through a lot of the normal brands, say like Fort Squire and, and what they're offering. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, you know, there are really, really good factories out there in, in China and the Far East making some beautiful instruments for not a lot of money now. So this is where um, you can save a bit. You know, you can save instead of going for the big brands, you know, um, and you'd say the things that you, you include, say so these setups and everything, making sure an instrument like this is playing perfectly before it comes out to you. Um, I think it's a really good option. Um, so, Come on, everyone that you've ever thought. Come on, come on. Come everyone that's on. ever thought about starting playing bass. <laughs> hey, look, I'll tell you what, they this haven't heard it yet. Why don't you have a quick play and I'll have a quick fiddle about and they very true. and they'll uh, get to know what it sounds like. Come on then. We've got two pickups, right? We've got jazz yeah. bass pickup, we've got a split single on the front. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna start off with the back pickup. Yeah. Uh, I think we've got two volumes and a tone, haven't we? We so, do. Right, it's tone off, back pickup. Wicked. Hit me, baby! <laughs> Yeah, baby. Mm. There you go. Yeah. So there's some nice what? options, and it plays really well, really, really well. The satin finish on the neck is really, really nice. There's no. Sometimes you, you know you can get when they um they, they skip off past some of the finish finishing um uh <sighs> on some of the you know the quality control checks you can find sharp edges or like you know some things that haven't been finished off and yeah um, but you're not going to send any bases out like that so we it's are not going to happen no and this feels as good feels as gorgeous as it should do so uh, east coast west side west, west side, side. <laughs> east, east coast, coast. Absolutely. So yeah, again, check them out on the website. There's another colour, say black, which say you can picture. Same scratch plate. Shut your eyes, you can picture it. So I like that one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the options will be on the website for, uh, for whatever you need for between the amps as well. So say, feel free, give us a call if you need any more info, have a look on the site. Um, as ever, subscribe below. Come and check us out. If this is your first time watching us and you're buying one of these, Start, Where have you been? Where have you been? And start checking out some of the other stuff as well. <laughs> Hours of fun. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> all right, great stuff. Well, that'll do for this then. Absolutely. Uh, uh, this has been All About The Bass. I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, we'll see you next time. OK, bye now.